This video will show you the KV Reloader feature showcase on Windows WSL2. If we assume you've already followed the installation guide and setup, I will show you KV Reloader in practice. So this feature showcase will show you the VCX server setup working. This will show you KV Reloader working on Windows. This will show you the Android setup through USB. And this will also show you the KV Reloader setup working on Android. Now the first thing you have to do is turn on WSL2. It's already turned on and my version of Ubuntu is 2404. The, a new fresh version. Now the first step for Windows is you have to turn on your X launch. So I'll go down here, so double click, it will just run and you will see on the bottom right in your system tray, you scroll over and you will see it's turned on. So now that's turned on, you will have an X server so that WSL2 side can transmit the Windows information to a running X server on your Windows side. So now that's complete, let's start. So I'll go CD coding right here and TV hello world. Okay, now to turn on VS Code, I'll do code dot, enter, and it will turn on my already working VS Code in my hello world folder. It has a new terminal. If you don't have a terminal, you can just do control J. And then the first thing you want to do is poetry shell, just to enter the virtual environment, python main.py. So with all the setup already done, all you had to do was turn on your X server using the shortcut that the tutorial has provided you, turn on WSL, enter VS code. And now I have a working Windows window that is running from my WSL2 side. And as you can see here, it's going to print hello. And now we're going to turn this regular Hello World app into a Kiwi Reloader app. So what we're going to do is we're going to do Kiwi Reloader app import app with a capital A like this. And then we're going to make a main app class. So it's going to be class main app. And then it's going to inherit from the Kiwi Reloader app definition. So with a capital A app, then on our build definition, so def build, we're going to say self, and then star args, just in case extra arguments get given to this build definition. Then what we're going to return is simply our builder load string, which contains this button that says hello world. So return this. How are we going to run this main app class? So if I do like main app, am I instantiating this main app class? Not really. I need two very important things, which are the open close parentheses. Now I've instantiated the main app. And then one trick we can do is say app equals main app, just so that we have a reference for main app for the whole app. It will just be lowercase a, and then we can do app dot run. Now we've instantiated the main app and then we're going to run it. So I'll do Python main dot pi, but notice I didn't do one important thing which was Kiwi Reloader in it. So I'm just going to show you what happens first when you do not do Kiwi Reloader in it, just so you remember what to do. So I did not do Kiwi Reloader in it. It says config file not found. Please execute Kiwi Reloader in it. So okay, Kiwi Reloader in it. And then you get two very important files. The first file is the build dozer spec file. This file is used for when you want to compile into Android. And the Kiwi Reloader toml is used for the reloading settings and then for how you want the live reload to be set up. So right now I'm okay with just fully reloading a live reload on main.py. So let's close this and then start again. We'll do Python main.py. Then here we go. We have our hello world, but the crucial difference is that now we have live reloads. So when I do here, when I click here, it says hello, then I say Point hello world. When I press Control S to save, Kiwi Reloader detects a change in the file, and then now it will reload it. Then I print, and it says hello world. So that's just a very quick setup on how to convert this app, this basic Kiwi app, into a hello world that's running with Kiwi Reloader, and also showcasing how this app works on the desktop. All you need to do is turn on Kiwi WSL X Launch if I can find it right here or whatever you named your X launch server. That way you already have a an X server running and you did the pre setup on the previous two videos. So now I'm going to transition to getting this hello world onto Android. So first I will quickly do the USB setup. So if you go around here, we go to Kiwi school. We go to Kiwi school, Kiwi reloader, Windows and how to use 
you go to the very bottom section, there's going to be a section called how to compile and hot reload in Android. What I'm going to choose is to connect Windows ADB to WSL ADB through a USB cable. So again, we're going to go through the steps very quickly. We're going to kill the server on Windows and WSL. So here, right click, kill server, and then here again, kill server. It will say connection refused. We could not connect. So there was no server in the beginning, but it's good just to start from scratch. That way we avoid any problems. And then after that, what does it say? IP config. So do IP config. And then I already know this is my router login. This is my IP address. And then we'll ping from WSL to your host window. 192.168.1. Your number is going to be different. My WSL2 can ping my host windows. So I'm okay. There's no networking problems. The next step before you start this daemon is to connect your phone physically to your host windows machine with a USB cable. Next, we're going to start this ADB no daemon server on port 5037. So I'll copy the clipboard and right click, enter. And then on your phone, it will say, do you want to allow USB debugging? So you can click allow. So for me, I've never pressed the always allow from this computer just because I want to remember for, for the students when they should accept on their phone. So for my phone, it says right here, allow USB debugging. I'm going to allow. And then on WSL, make sure you can connect to the Windows daemon. So right here, A to B with the correct port and with the correct IP. Right click, then enter. The device is attached. Next, we will export the correct port and the correct uh, IP. So this is the port here, port here, and the IP here, IP here. So because this is my setup, it's going to be okay to copy the clipboard. But for your setup, please put the right numbers. And then I can press enter. Again, I can do ADB devices. So now why this is important, ADB versus ADB-P, is when you add the dash P argument, you're going to this port. And when you add the dash H argument, you're going to this host. But because we have already exported the host, and the port. Now, when ADB devices runs without the port and the host, it automatically goes to that device. And it's important because we need ADB to automatically go to our host windows so that when screen copy calls ADB, there's no error. So again, ADB devices work. Now we're gonna do SCRCPY for screen copy and press enter just to make sure screen copy works. Right here, screen copy is on. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to PV your loader run. So there are a couple options here. There's compile, debug, debug, create A, B. So what I want to show is compile, debug, and live stream. So I'm going to press enter. And what this will do is start Buildozer. And this will build, download all the necessary libraries, compile. And then at the end of the compilation, I'll come back and I'll show you how it works on the phone. And if you ever get this error where it says ADB failed to install, the signatures do not match the previously installed version, that just means that the version of Kiwi Reloader on your phone does not match the newly built version of Kiwi Reloader on your machine. Uh, in my case, in the WSL2 side. So what you should do is go to your phone and delete it. So I will just turn on screen copy just to show you. Copy, go to Kiwi Reloader, uninstall. Do you want to install, uninstall this? Type yes. So on the left side, we're going to run our Android version on the left using Kivi reloader run, enter. And then we will say compile, debug, and live stream. And because it has been compiled once, it'll be very quick. And then on the right, we're going to run on the desktop with Python main.py. So here we go. We see on the main, let's put this back to hello world. So here on the on the Android side, Hello World 2 has been updated. We'll have Hello World, right? And then one of the good things about Kibi Reloader is that it will automatically update things for you. So I'm going to do Hello World 33. Control S to save, and then it will update. And then Python main.py will reload. And when I press enter on Hello World, you see Hello World 33 shows. Now, you're going to see one thing, which is that Android app is not updating, right? Why is that and what does it mean? That is because we're not connecting to the smartphone. The reason is we're not running our Kivi app with Trio. So for the final version, to finally update our basic hello world app.py into a Kivi Reloader app.py is to run it with Trio. So as you can see here, 
I have an example from the intermediate setup on Kiwi School. So what we're going to do is we're going to import Trio and then Trio Run. So I'm going to copy Trio like this. I'm going to import. It's already imported. Then we'll do Trio Run async like this. Then Control T quit again. We'll do Kiwi the loader run. We will recompile debug and live stream because we've changed our main.py. Then control C here again, and then press enter. Okay. So on the Windows side, if I press, it says hello world 33. On the Android side, it says hello world 33. Now let's say I wanted to print hello world 20. So with Kiwi Reloader, all we do is say 20 control S to save. And because we save, and there's a change detected, it will force a reload. Then here on the desktop side, it says Hello World 20. Let me just move it here. And on the Android side, it says Hello World 20. So that's the power of Kiwi Reloader. There's just two notes I want to make. Number one, make sure that your phone and WSL are connected to the same Wi-Fi. So if we see right here, I'm going to go to settings, connections, and I'm connected to Shooting Quasar Dragon 2G extension. And on the same note, my Host Windows is also connected to shooting Quasar Dragon 2G extension. Another thing is that if we go check the IP right here, let me just make it bigger. The IP is 192.168.133. So in the Kiwi Reloader tunnel, just go right here, it's going to be the same IP 192.168.133. And then hot reload on phone is true. Stream using USB because I'm using the USB setup. And then the port is 5555. You don't need to change it. So, okay, so that's it. That's how you are supposed to debug on your desktop and on your phone at the same time using Kiwi Reloader on WSL2. And the reason why we use WSL2 is so that we can use Buildozer to recompile our apps very fast. Because on the first compile, it compiles everything. But on the second compile, it doesn't need to compile everything. All it needs to do is read the changes on your Kiwi app, import them through the network, to update your local Kiwi app on your Android. So this has been Kibi School. Thank you for watching.